games that they play, they've actually been very consistent in the game. The results are inconsistent. They're not, you know, like 24 years old. They're into that 26, 27 range. So they've got some guys that got a good goaltending and they play hard defensively. And interestingly, they, they move the puck around with some high skill in their power play. So they play a pretty consistent game. They uh, and they've beat good teams. You know, they put six up on Toronto the other night. So that's the game we expect. Johnny Smith was recalled. Will he be in the lineup? Tonight? No. Um, so we're in a position now, and especially when you look at our January month. I'm not saying he won't play in the next game, but we wanted uh, Tierney cleared. Um, and I really liked his game prior to it, and I want to get him back into a game, a full game. So if he plays with us, he's going to get six, seven minutes. But if he can go down there and get 18, 20 minutes, it's like capturing three games, get him back up, and then he's viable for us. But we're also in a position now with uh, Patrick Cornquist and LTR that we can have an extra forward and a D and going on that trip. We, just, I don't, we don't want to go into a game short of player because we, we were at 20. Uh, Goal tonight, Coach? A Spence goes tonight. Do you have any update on Anthony Duclair? He was skating. We haven't seen him out there in a while. Yeah, so he skates, and then we push him off ice, and it's kind of there's a stagger to it. They don't want to do two or three days straight on the ice. So I've still got him listed at week to week. I think we're far more likely to be talking about him and, and giving you a, a more detailed update very probably after the uh, All-Star break. From a goaltending standpoint, are you getting the saves? Do you feel like that's been a, okay, uh, pretty good? I feel it's been the last two games, both goaltenders have been really good at spots against good teams. Then they've both given up goals they can't give up. Um, I think that might be fairly good. They both have strong runs. I thought uh, Sergey at the start of the year and then Sergey coming in off the Winnipeg game gave us some really good games. I think uh, Spencer up right up until the Winnipeg game, he had a block of five or six where he was really solid. Those two blocks of games that we like out of each goal, it must become standard. It, it can't be the aberration. They've got to get, they don't have to get hot. They just have to get right. You're three games away from the halfway point of the season and needing to play 650 to 700 hockey to make the postseason. How do you continue to talk to your team about focusing on one game at a time? Well, just that, but but not just about one game at a time. It's a focus about our game at a time. And I would say that the last two periods of our last game were, and I'll qualify it with, uh, I think we played that well against Carolina at home coming off our first rookie. The last two games periods against the New York Rangers were decidedly different than any other hockey we've played all year. So to say that that winning percentage has to come in the environment of the games that we played prior to that, I'd say that's a pretty tall order for us to win that at that percentage based on the hockey that we had played. We play the two periods that we played against the Rangers every single night, and that's going to be hard. But it's also the direction we got to go to, the place that we've got to get to to ever have a chance of winning a playoff series legitimately. We have to play that hockey. That's very reasonable. That winning percentage is very reasonable at that effort level especially when we also factor coming in at the end of the month, we still have half our home schedule ahead of us. So it is nip and tuck if we play the way we've been playing. It's very reasonable if we get to that level, and we'll get to that level. I mean, you guys have let a bunch of games get away from you because of the special teams play. How do you get that, uh, both units uh Back to where I'm concerned about our penalty killing. I'm not concerned. Our, our power play got off to this really unusual start. We went two for 33 in the first seven games. So we had a huge number of power plays. Expected goals at that time. I don't, don't care about it. We were six in the NHL. So there were a whole bunch of chances. It, but since game seven, we've run at 20, just under 25%. That's with Ekblad out, Barkoff out, some Chuck out, Chucky out for a couple, Montour out. That had sit yet 10th. That's good enough to win. The power play is not an issue. Our penalty kills an issue. It ties to our goaltending and it ties to our aggressiveness and the compete level that I talked about in the last two periods. All of those things go together. That's that's the one we got to get going. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you.